Welcome to Funky Science. I am Professor TJ. And I am Sister Nelly Wen. And today we have an awesome experiment for you. But before we start, let me tell you something about this, this experiment. Magic tricks can't hold a candle to this scientific triumph. With just the open flame above the water's surface, this process will transform the candle to a hollow tube of wax. The water surrounding the candle is the secret to this trick. It keeps the exterior of the candle at a cool temperature. So the area touching the water never melts. This is what we would require. Plasticine, a candle, a large bowl, matches, and water. And remember kids, always have an adult supervising you as you do this experiment. Safety first! All the time. Oh, so let it ready? Yes. Ready to start? Yes. So I'm going to take my candle, uh -huh. you can see, and then I want you to make this plastic in itself like flat, like a flat place that we can stick the candle to the bowl. Stuck all the way in. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take our candle and press it till it sticks on the plastic. Can you see? It's stuck? Yes. Ah, nice. Then I'm going to light the candle. Uh -huh. It's not working today. Fire. <laughs> then. There we go. It's lit. Then I want you uh -huh. to take this water and pour it in. Water. Pour it until I tell you to stop, huh? Because it just needs to reach the top of the... Yes, the candle is going to burn under water. So just pour the water until I tell you to stop. Pour the water. And... Uh, stop. If you had lit and burned the candle in a waterless bowl, it would have burned normally and eventually consumed the whole candle. This is caused by the action of both heat flow and high temperature. It only seems like magic that the candle burned while it was under water. Water has this amazing quality of absorbing heat energy. And because you used cold water, even more heat energy was absorbed. Once the candle's heat energy dissipated into the water, the heat had much less impact on the outer surface of the candle, resulting in the candle's strange transformation. I hope you at home were able to do this experiment. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!